Uh, I'm Roman Stich. I'm uh, from CyberAgent Incorporated uh, from its uh, domestic company in, in Japan. I will do a simple introduction of the company. And I will talk about uh, Apache Ignite project as a data processing hub. hub. Uh, uh, I will introduce myself. Uh, I'm R&D engineer at CyberAgent. Uh, my areas of focus uh, uh, is not uh, exactly in memory computing, but uh, I, I'm, work I'm working a lot with uh, data streaming and natural language processing. And uh, I'm committed on the Apache Ignite and my, bet my Batis projects. And uh, well, I'm I'm, I live in, since I live in Japan, I play judo, I enjoy judo. Uh, OK. Oh. Uh, so first of all, I think uh, none of you knows about CyberAgent Incorporated. So I would like to <coughs> introduce uh, the company uh, so you uh, understand a little bit better what I'm talking about uh, to know the specific, uh, of, uh, specifics of our business. Uh, so <coughs> uh, if you see a, a this pie chart, uh, it shows uh, the uh, segments of our revenue. So internet ads is the biggest part. And then we have a lot of games, uh, for web games and uh, mobile application games. And uh, uh, we have a big media segment. So media big segment is um, we have a lot of user-generated uh, content media, then vi viral uh, media, uh, et cetera, and investing. investing also very, uh, very wide area uh, because, for instance, we have uh, some joint uh, companies with uh, uh, like TV, TV, Japanese TV stations. Uh, so we uh, provide uh, online TV uh, services or we are competing with uh, Apple uh, or Google uh, in uh, uh, streaming music. Uh, we have a big share in Japanese market. Uh, well, etc. Uh, so, next, uh, and particularly, I'm uh, I'm working for Ameba uh, Services. Uh, so this is a huge chunk of our business. And uh, well, what we're doing, we are doing games, community services, con content curation, is viral services, uh, etc. And um, to understand uh, the size of our business, uh, we have uh, my monthly visitors. We have six billion monthly visitors. It's in a daily unique browser total. And number of users, we have uh, about, uh, well, it's a little bit old the data, but uh, we have uh, something like this, uh, 39 million uh, users. Uh, <coughs> well, this is kind of, uh, uh, we have kind of virtual worlds where you can uh, create your own character and uh, play and communicate with other, with other people. So I just give you an idea what it is. Ameba Pig is uh, one of uh, our biggest services. Okay. Uh, let's go uh, to the main contents of uh, this presentation. <coughs> so I will talk uh, about uh, Apache Ignite, uh, how to feed your data with uh, Apache Flume and Apache Kafka. Uh, well, we heard some, already something about Apache Kafka from the previous presenter. I will elaborate a little bit more. And uh, I will show some uh, simple data pip pipeline with Kafka and Apache Ignite uh, that can be used for, uh, well, our biggest business is uh, internet ads. Uh, so nowadays, uh, we have uh, very many platforms uh, that uh, excel uh, in each particular area. And as those platforms mature, uh, they uh, tend to cover more and more areas, uh, tend, to tend to do more and more things. Uh, but uh, the, you, you, uh, it can be done in, uh, probably in two ways, just uh, to implement more and more, uh, which uh, uh, becomes, uh, uh, can become a really problem. Or you can do it in a smart way 
uh, like uh, introducing some interfaces, uh, some connectors. As for instance, uh, I'm working with stream processing, so uh, I give, can give you example of uh, like Apache Flink. They have connect connectors, or um, Kafka. Uh, I will be talking uh, today about. Uh, so they have connect. Uh, they have uh, some such uh, some connector interfaces. Uh, so you can easily implement uh, integration with other services, which, uh, which, which was actually done uh, in uh, Apache Ignite community. Uh, and, and some uh, also, some other players in this market, in big data market, even go further. Like probably you know about uh, Apache Aero project. Uh, so it's uh, um, some, some new format. Uh, uh, to transfer data uh, in well, columnar data between uh, between many many data solutions between many databases. Uh, all right. Uh, so, well, Apache Ignite. Uh, well, I I don't need to introduce it. It's uh, you you've heard probably several presentations about it. Well, it's. Uh, I, I will I, I just uh, repeat several key points. It's a uh, very high performance, and uh, it has a very high performance and unlimited uh, scalability and resiliency, and uh, high performance transaction fast analytics. And it has it has uh, Hadoop acceleration, uh, Apache, uh, uh, Apache Spark integration. We heard uh, the talk about it. And it is, it is a Apache project, which is uh, very important for us because uh, our uh, software stack is mostly open source. Uh, we, we use very small fraction of uh, proprietary software. Uh, so if you look at this fabric, uh, you can see, and you apply to ETL, um, uh, it has a lot of uh, features uh, for transform and load, uh, but uh, uh, how about E, uh, extracting? So uh, if you want to feed a data to uh, Apache Ignite and do it continuously and uh, apply massive loads, so a simple solution, just create a client node and uh, just uh, stream data with uh, some efficient uh, 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 Ignite uh, streamers. So, but there are many questions. Uh, is it reliable? Um, I mean, what do you, what do you implement? I have no illusions that uh, ev any uh, new implementation can be 100% uh, safe and uh, perfect. So, uh, does it scale and uh, well, let's, uh, let's, let's think, for instance, if you decide to apply another solution, it's probably it won't be Ignite or something else. So uh, well, it's, it's also possible. Uh, uh, so is it Ignite-only solution? And, uh, and does it keep your operational cost low? Prob probably no. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, to... Probably it's good to have a Flume or Kafka, which are normally used uh, for uh, log aggregation. We, because we have uh, so many logs, we, we use both Flume and Kafka. Um, <coughs> and uh, create uh, some integration solutions that uh, both, uh, both uh, Apache Ignite and uh, well, and uh, existing uh, and uh, enterprise architectures can benefit from. Uh, okay. So, and uh, of course, such integrations uh, uh, for any solution it reduces uh, time to market delivery. So, uh, okay, let's f first talk about uh, log aggregation with Apache Flume. Uh, Flume is a, a distributed, reliable, and available uh, source for efficiently collecting uh, and aggregating uh, and moving uh, large amounts of data, of big data, right? 
So it is scalable, flexible, robust and fault tolerant. Uh, it, 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 it can be uh, configur uh, configured declaratively, and it is Apache project. Well, it is, as I said, it's very important for us. Uh, so uh, how data, fl data flow in Flume happens? Uh, we have basically agent, which consists of three components. It's a source, channel, and sync. Uh, source uh, receives uh, incoming data, and it feeds it into channel. And source is, uh, uh, can be event driven or pullable. Uh, then channel. Channel is the core of, uh, uh, of reliability, of uh, fault tolerance in, in all this schema, <coughs> all this mechanism. Uh, so it uh, takes care about uh, event ordering and uh, also uh, takes care of uh, control tr transactions. Uh, and then sync, sync pulls data from the channel and uh, send, sends it uh, to Another agent, it can be an agent, you can be cascading, uh, or uh, other destination. Okay. Ah, sorry, I forgot to say. At, at, at the source, as a source, you can implement uh, interceptors <coughs> that will be doing some filtering logic for you, <coughs> and uh, uh, or tagging, or do some simple transformations. But, um, well, it cannot be heavy. Basically, it should be some simple, simple stuff. Next. And uh, also, you can do uh, replication and filtering uh, via uh, channel selector uh, as a source. Uh, OK, reliability. When we are talking about reliability, uh, I was uh, saying that uh, uh, channel uh, supports transactions. So when you put data to the channel, uh, it's source transaction. And when you pull data from the channel, it will be sync transactions. So data is, uh, <coughs> is uh, safely stored in channel. And uh, uh, there is no, basically there is no data loss. Uh, I, I put it here as configurable because it can be in memory channel. So in, in memory ch channel is not uh, reliable, but it can be some other, channel, some other types of channel with persistency configured. Uh, OK, and log transfer at, at Ameba. We, uh, we are big users of uh, Flume, so as, as I said. So we have uh, many Ameba services streaming logs to aggregators, then uh, doing some, uh, some filtering, some, uh, <coughs> some tagging and put into another ag aggregator which uh, streams uh, the data in other uh, subsystems or some. Well, we, ha we have a lot here. So it's HBase, Hadoop, Elasticsearch, Recommender System. And uh, we have uh, stream processing, this uh, in in-house uh, uh, solution. It's called Onyx, uh, et cetera. <coughs> And uh, to give you an idea about uh, the size uh, of our data, uh, we have uh, about uh, 100, uh, sorry, 1,600 uh, web hosts. Uh, well, this is uh, where Flume is deployed. Uh, so this is, and this is uh, the web host I'm aware of. There are, there are more. And uh, the size is uh, five terabytes per day. It's raw, raw data. And tra traffic at peak is uh, 160 uh, megabytes per second uh, compressed. And uh, well, let's go to integration uh, uh, with uh, Flume and, Ap and Apache Ignite. So uh, it's very simple. Uh, Apache uh, Sync is implemented as, as follows. So it reads Flume events from channel and with the user implemented a uh, pluggable transformer, uh, converts them into uh, uh, cacheable entries. And uh, adding it requires no modification to the existing architecture. Just <coughs> deploy it and, uh, well, you need to write configuration file and just, just deploy it. 
uh, okay, I, I will show you how, how it's done. <coughs> so uh, Ignite Sync uh, creates a, <coughs> uh, a new thread for lifecycle, uh, and then uh, it starts transaction with a channel, so it's sync transaction, and then just uh, take event and send e events to Apache Ignite, and of course it commits. Uh, so after everything is finished, so it cleans up everything and just closes the connect, uh, trans uh, finishes the transaction. Okay, and how to enable Flume, Flume Sync to uh, stream data from Flume to Apache Ignite is, uh, this is uh, just some basic steps. So that's it what you need. Just implement event transformer, oh sorry, uh, to convert Flume events into cacheable entries. Then put transformer jar into uh, Flume home plugins directory. And uh, uh, then put Ap Ap Ignite Sync and I got, uh, Ignite core jar files to here and set up a Flume, Flume, Flume agent. So it's, it's in set, set up. Just specify this, and uh, then you need to specify, uh, well, it's configuration file for Apache Ignite. Uh, specify cache name, where you put your uh, entries from Flume. And uh, well, yeah, you specified your transformer and batch size. Well, default is 100, so if you want to uh, configured, you can. Well, this is as uh, simple as this. So, uh, currently there are many Flume syncs like HDFS, Rift, Avro, Avro uh, HBase, Elasticsearch, RNC, and uh, now there is Ignite uh, Flume Sync too. Okay, uh, just to summarize this integration. Well, if you do data aggregation with Flume already, and uh, want to speed up your uh, data processing or you want to just simply cache in data or whatever, just adding an Ignite cluster is as simple as writing uh, and uh, data transformer and deploying uh, a new Flume agent. That's it, basically. So, but, uh, well, on the other way, if you store your data already in Ignite and if you want to improve your data injection, uh, with Flume, uh, so it's, uh, well, uh, same, uh, easy. So uh, combining Apache Flume and Ignite uh, makes or keeps, if you, if you have uh, your data pipeline uh, uh, scalable, uh, reliable, and highly performant. Okay, let's go to Apache Kafka, because we have one more integration. So Apache Kafka, the pre previous uh, person already uh, talked about, a little, uh, about it. I will elaborate a little bit more. Uh, so it's publish, subscribe, uh, messaging, uh, rethought as a uh, distributed uh, commit log. This is how they specify it. Uh, it has low latency, high throughput, and it is partitioned and replicated. Well, this is probably the maybe key features and Kafka is an essential component of any data pipe, pipe, uh, pipeline today. Well, many people say it. <clears throat> and probably one of uh, uh, key reasons why it is uh, also popular because it's not dependent on uh, any other components. Well, probably the one, one of dependencies is just, uh, one dependency is just uh, Zookeeper, I think. Uh, be, well, Flume, if you are, we are talking about Flume, it is uh, uh, very much Hadoop, let's say so, let's put it so, Hadoop friendly. It has a very uh, good integration with Hadoop. Okay. And, uh, well, basic, basic things uh, everyone needs to know about Kafka. Well, this is uh, that messages are uh, grouped in, in topics and each partition is logged and each partition is managed by a broker. Uh, when replicated, uh, one broker is uh, the uh, partition leader. Well, basically, it is replicated because uh, you need a cluster to do some se serious things. And uh, <coughs> you have producers and consumers, and you, you can have pro consumer groups. Well, if you need to 
uh, preserve ordering of events? Well, uh, there was a question to the previous uh, speaker. Well, one of ways, uh, well, if, if you don't use, of course, in memory uh, uh, data grids or whatever, is to use consumer groups. With consumer groups, you, uh, each particular consumer will be reading from uh, uh, one particular, oh, sorry, from one particular partition. So, and uh, uh, event order in, 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 in partitions uh, is preserved, so you can, you can do something with it. Uh, okay, where it is used? It is used for uh, log aggregations, activity tracking, monitoring, stream processing, uh, whatever. Okay. Oh. Another thing is uh, Kafka Connect. Kafka Connect, uh, well, it is designed for a large uh, scale uh, stream data integration uh, using Kafka. This, is, this uh, new feature was introduced in a recent uh, release of uh, uh, Apache Kafka uh, 0, 0 0.10, I think. And uh, it produ pro provides an abstraction from uh, communication with your uh, Kafka cluster. So uh, it takes care of offset, offset management, delivery semantics, uh, fault tolerance, monitoring, etc. <clears throat> so um, Kafka guys, when uh, they, they, they worked on many integrations with other systems, so they decided to uh, create uh, one layer, one interface that uh, will be very easy uh, for to do integration with other products and uh, take care of uh, some internal stuff like this and provide some perks like uh, uh, monitoring. And the key, well, this is, this is uh, basically uh, what it is. You have, you have data source, uh, data sync, uh, Kafka in the middle end, uh, you have uh, connectors uh, implemented with, uh, running on uh, Kafka Connect. <laughs> uh, well, basic uh, components are worker connect a task. Uh, uh, worker uh, runs connector and tasks, and uh, it takes about scalability and fault tolerance. It can be run in uh, standalone on distributed uh, modes. Uh, in distributed mode, if one uh, web host uh, dies, uh, worker will redistribute. Uh, tasks to other uh, hosts that are alive. <clears throat> so connector is just uh, uh, decides what tasks, what uh, should be run on what hosts. And basically, uh, all your job is done by tasks. So it takes care, this model also takes care about uh, par par parallelization of uh, uh, your work. So it's very easy to, to use. Okay, and uh, if you use uh, Kafka and uh, Apache Ignite, uh, there are two ways to in, uh, inject uh, data into uh, Ignite. Uh, uh, first is uh, Kafka Streamer, which is a very, very simple implementation of uh, uh, just take, taking data from uh, Kafka and uh, uh, putting, using uh, Ignite streamer, data streamer, uh, put in into uh, Ignite. And sync connector. Uh, this, uh, well, this is, uh, it uses um, uh, a Kafka connect mechanism I already des described. <coughs> and with this, what, what you can do, you, you, uh, you stream your data to uh, just, just configure, for instance, if you use sync connector, just configure your sync connector in declarative way and uh, 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 stream your data and do SQL queries, uh, transactions and uh, distributed closures, whatever uh, Apache Ignite is good at. So yeah, it, it goes through connect. So kind of uh, E is implemented in this way for ETL. And uh, I think, I think uh, Apache Ignite is good enough uh, with uh, T and L already. 
So how you do it, just configure your connector, uh, configure uh, Kafka Connect Worker, and start your uh, connect. Or oh, something like this. So here's, I was talking about paral uh, parallelization. It's just, uh, you, you can, you can uh, uh, set number of tasks you want to run. And uh, number of topics uh, you want to take data from and uh, input into Ignite. Uh, well, if if it's standalone, if it's standalone mode, just uh, run it like this. It's very simple. And uh, what you have here, well, uh, you have a very easy data pipeline. And records from Kafka read into Ignite Grid uh, via high-performance uh, Ignite data streamer here. And uh, at least once delivery is guaranteed, because uh, Kafka Connect uh, guarantees at least delivery uh, by default. And uh, the same is with Ignite uh, data streamer. It guarantees. And uh, well. Uh, Internally, this implementation uses uh, Kafka offsets, so everything is done in a very safe way. So once data is in Ignite already, uh, it, is, uh, it is committed and offset just advances. So, and uh, as of uh, 1.6, uh, Apache Ignite 1.6, uh, uh, we need to start a new connector to write to a different cache, which is not a problem, actually. But if there are needs uh, from uh, the users, from the community, it can be implemented uh, easily. OK. Well, you can, yeah. You can write from other uh, uh, topics, which was uh, already in the uh, configuration I showed you. OK. Uh, but but if you if you do just um, uh, streaming into data streaming into Ignite, uh, you won't be <coughs> able to uh, use all the power of in-memory data grid because there are uh, some things like uh, continuous queries and uh, you can also uh, listen to events uh, happening in data grid. So. Uh, for that, we also, we also uh, enabled uh, bidirectional streaming. Uh, so what it means is we listen to events the user specifies. And uh, using uh, another connector, we put it back into uh, Kafka. <clears throat> so you can probably, uh, with this mechanism, probably you can uh, build a kind of cascading if, if you like. For instance, uh, uh, if you know probably there is project Apache Samza, well, it's uh, using uh, a little bit similar mechanism. They uh, take uh, data from uh, Kafka partitions, then do some transformation and put back. So you can, you can cascade and do <coughs> many steps like that. OK. Then. Well, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Uh, so we are listening to ca cache events. Uh, for instance, like put, uh, read, removed, expired, etc., and put it back to Kafka. Uh, and also we can do remote filtering, filtering on, on the nodes. <coughs> uh, so you don't uh, get any data you don't expect. Well, you, you, you don't need to, you don't want to overwhelm uh, your network. And then <coughs> another thing is, uh, well, it's not <coughs> probably that critical, at least in my case. Kafka Connect uh, offsets are ignored. <coughs> because, uh, well, in this case, we don't have off off uh, offsets, I mean, for data coming from Ignite. Uh, if you implement uh, this, connect, this kind of connector for databases, uh, some people use, for instance, timestamps for offsets. But uh, yeah, there is nothing like this here, so there are no offsets. But I think it's not critical. 
And currently there are no delivery guarantees. So probably we need to do something if, if there are some needs about it. Yeah, this current state of art. Okay. Well, this is how you do it. You configure uh, your connector and then make sure that event listening is enabled on server nodes. Uh, this is uh, Apache Ignite configurations. Then configure a Kafka Connect work and start your connector. Well, this is like simple like this. OK, and uh, OK, this is very, very similar slides. But uh, well, if you do uh, data streaming with Kafka, just adding an Ignite cluster is as simple as writing a configuration file. And if you want a filter, you, yeah, you can add a filter. Uh, then if you store your data uh, in Ignite uh, and do some commutations in Ignite, yes, uh, then uh, uh, you can improve data in injection and listening for events on data, well, it, it becomes uh, very easy with, Kaf with Kafka connectors. And uh, as a result, as a, as a result, sorry, uh, you have uh, you a combination which is scalable, reliable, highly performant, and covers a wide range of ETL contexts, I think. Then, uh, okay, and uh, I will show you uh, some uh, example. Uh, very high level example. Actually, we need to implement a, a data pipeline, pipeline um, for our internet edge systems. And uh, well, it's kind of work in progress, but uh, some things are done already. So, and the requirements are very general requirements, uh, instant processing and analysis, scalable and resi resilient to failures. Uh, well, then, it's low latency, high throughput, but well, latency is more important, I, I would say, and and uh, it, it should be, it should be flexible. Okay. Then, okay, let's first <coughs> talk about uh, data extraction. Uh, uh, we take the data and uh, use Flume to uh, do a log aggregation, actually. So. And we can do some simple filter transform with uh, interceptors, as I already uh, discussed. But, but if, we, if we do some uh, very uh, heavy transformations, it, slow downs, uh, it slows down on uh, heavy workloads. So we, have, we had such a problem. Uh, so, what we need to do with Flume, uh, we need uh, more uh, channels and layers, uh, which is uh, pretty expensive. So we, what we can do, we can replace that part we need uh, to do tra some advanced transformations uh, with uh, Kafka. Uh, so. Well, it's, uh, this idea is pre pretty similar, probably, to uh, Apache Samza. So <clears throat> we take the data from um, uh, partitions, Kafka partitions, then do whatever we want and put back to Kafka. <clears throat> and it is uh, uh, what what is what are the points here are parsimonious uh, resource use. Also, with Kafka, we have replay enabled, and uh, we can do more operations, more um, complex operations on streams. And also, it introduces <coughs> some flexibility to us because uh, for, for this part, we can use any technology. Well, it, it, it's not necessarily um, uh, well, Java or uh, something from or Hadoop, Hadoop, Flume of Hadoop related. And uh, it can be also done, this work can be done in different teams. <laughs> then, okay. And uh, what we do uh, after, after, after this step, we, at uh, this step we filter and aggregate events uh, and also we store 
uh, events through some sorts of connectors. Apache Kafka has uh, now many connectors, and uh, their number is increasing. So, and uh, well, we can also do some notification about updates on aggregates. And here you can have Spark, HDFS, connectors, or of course Ignite. Okay. Or you can do better like this. <clears throat> uh, well, you, you are aware, aware there are like Hadoop acceleration and Spark integration, so yeah. And okay, let's put uh, aside this part. Okay, we have uh, ads, internet ad system, so we receive uh, clicks, impressions, and we have ad delivery system uh, that deliver ads. Well, not exactly here, but. Uh, okay, and we have ads recommender, so it uh, listens to, uh, it, it looks to the context of, uh, context, uh, context, sorry, of queries, and decide what, uh, uh, what advertise, adver advertisement is uh, appropriate for a particular user. <coughs> so, uh, here we can have Ignite, uh, we put as a cache before uh, some storage computation cloud. And we, of course, we can, we can do, not necessarily, we don't need, need to uh, send all uh, queries to this storage and computation cloud. Uh, we can do much stuff uh, uh, in, Ignite, uh, in place. <laughs> but we can do even better, okay, so. Well, do like this. Uh, well, this is what I was talking about. This is integration with Kafka or Flume. Well, it's Kafka and uh, Apache Ignite. So uh, it puts closer uh, all ads data uh, to, to the user. Uh, so we get uh, better network utilization and reliability. And um, also, we can do some additional stuff like uh, anomaly, uh, anomaly, de anomaly detection. Uh, for instance, uh, also, well, by listening to uh, events happening uh, in, uh, in memory data grid. Okay, and let's see uh, the final note. Let's see. Uh, how many uh, other integrations we, we've done now. Uh, it's Camel, MQTT, Storm, uh, Flink, Sync recently, and Twitter. Yeah. Okay, this is it. Thank you very much. <laughs>